Right. This video is a follow-up to my last video. Um, in the last video I told you I'd be showing an advanced technique showing what to do when you get stuck. Um, now, first of all, I tried really hard to create a video, uh, I tried really hard to create a Sudoku puzzle that you would get stuck in. And I posted it, and then a um, YouTuber, Malte Christensen, pointed out that I missed something. There's an easy number I could have found. So good for him. I, um, I missed it, but we're going to work ahead assuming that that wasn't there. So here I am. I'm in this Sudoku puzzle, and I am stuck. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Um, the technique that we're going to use is a strategy called guess and check. Guess and check is a real common, um, real common problem-solving technique that people use. Um, it's just a good way to to eliminate possibilities. Now, when you do the guess and check, there are three possible outcomes. Either your guess will be good, you'll solve the entire puzzle, and that's awesome, or you'll make a guess and you'll prove that that guess was wrong. That's also good because then you know what doesn't go in a square. Or the last thing is you'll guess, you'll work through the puzzle without proving you're wrong and then you'll get stuck again. And that's bad. If you do that you've just wasted your time. So what am I talking about here? You need to find a pair of numbers where you have a 50-50 chance of guessing correctly. And I'm going to start right here. I can see that this is either a 5 or an 8, and this is either a 5 or an 8. Now, when I um, do this, I want to find the most logical um, the most logical guess to make. Now, if I guess this is a 5, nothing changes going up, and it won't really affect anything. But if I guess it's an 8, it will force this to change that into an 8, and it... it um, will let us work our way further through. Now what I do normally, if I'm working in a Sudoku book, I use pencil and I write very lightly, I test my theory, and if it works I go through and fill it all in, and if it doesn't I erase. Um, to make it large so you can see it on the camera, I'm going to use a, a marker and I will write, um, I will write on it, and if, it, if I guess wrong I'll just get a new sheet and start over. Um, now, when you're working with a book at home, if you have a copier on your computer, on your printer, you can just copy, make a photocopy of your Sudoku puzzle and do the guess and check technique. So here we go. I'm going to guess an 8 right here in this box. And after I guess the 8, if that's an 8, and this is the box just to make sure we understand that's the one I guessed. If I guess 8 there, I know this has to be a 5. If that's an 8, I know that this must be an 8. Then I'm going to have 8, 8. That would make this an 8. And if that's an 8, this would be a 9. And now I can see what this number has to be. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's no 5, so this has to be a 5. Then I look across and I say, oh no! Here's a 5, and here's a 5. So that tells me right here, I have just proven. Remember step 2 here? Prove your guess was wrong is, a, is also a good thing. I have just proven that this cannot be an 8, because those two 5's clash. So I know this cannot be an 8. Now at this point, I would take my eraser and I'd lightly erase, I'd erase all the light marks that I made. But, I'm not going to do that and make you sit here and watch me erase, and I wrote in, in Sharpie. So now what I'll do is I'll put up a new um, sheet that I already have ready, because I don't want to have to have you watch me erase. And we had guessed an 8 in this spot, so now we know 100% for sure this cannot be an 8. If it cannot be an 8, it has to be a 5. We also know if this is a 5, that this must be an 8. And then, um, when you get to this point, 
you just work through the puzzle using the normal techniques that you um, already know how to use and you see if you can solve the puzzle and you'll either solve the puzzle or you won't solve the puzzle but um, and if and if you you'll work as far as you can work and you'll either solve the puzzle and if you if you get stuck you can use the guess and check technique again so every time that I get completely stuck and I don't know what to do I'll use guess and check and guess and check you know virtually you can solve any puzzle if you understand how to logically make intelligent guesses so let's go ahead and work through it I can see this is a five so one of these has to be a five so these two have to be a five or a nine so I'll write them in and now let's work through the puzzle um, I can see one two three four five six seven eight or nine so these has to have to be five eight or nine five eight or nine that's gotta be a nine and by the way that's what Malte Christensen commented in the last video so um, I had overlooked that that's a nine oh well, look if this is a nine this had to be five or nine so this must be a five this must be a nine and let's see this must be I believe an eight one two three four five six seven eight there we go and now I can see if this is an eight left middle one of these three has to be an eight it can't be the bottom two so this is an eight and we're gonna keep working through the puzzle like this until we either get stuck again or um, we solve the puzzle and that's that's how the guess and check works so um, I might as well just keep going and um, you can follow along if you are interested in watching me solve or now you know the guess and check technique now I could jump over and do guess and check on the three and nine I could do it on the six and seven I could do it on the four and nine I could even just make a guess on a single number if that's all I have to work with but there's no point in doing that now um, until I know that I'm stuck so let's keep working this is one two three four five six seven eight nine these are three or four there's a four on the bottom so this must be a four and if that's a four this must be a three there's a four this had to be four or nine it tells me that this is a nine and I knew that these one of these two had to be a four so this is a four I can look up here and see that one of these two had to be a four that can't be a four so this is a four and um, I'll just keep working through the puzzle like this uh, let's see where we're at I know what these two have to be they have to be one two three four five six seven eight or nine so they have to be four or five um, one of these has to be a four or five that can't be a four so this has to be a four if this is a four this must be a five now if you don't know what all these little marks are that I have on here I will have a link down below in the description to um, how to solve an easy sudoku and a hard sudoku so you know what all these marks mean uh, let's go ahead and keep working through um, see we have let's go across the bottom I'm just kinda of mixing it up here because um, you know I'm just kinda of in the middle of solving and I can jump around wherever I want to jump around so I'll do top middle bottom here across the bottom one 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 two 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 three is bottom that tells me that one of these two has to be a three well that one is a six or a seven if it's a six or a seven it can't be a three so this is a three I bring my eye up here this had to be a three or a nine it can't be a three it must be a nine one of these two had to be a three so it must be this one and so the puzzle starts to really come together um, when you get the log jam that you had broken up once once you get unstuck you usually stay unstuck I can tell what this one has to be because it's the only thing left those are six or seven so let's see what this is one two three four five six seven eight nine 
I know this is a 5. My eye instantly shot, shoots up here and I see that that can't be a 5, so this must be a 5. And I can also see that there's only one thing left in this um, column, so let's see what it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That tells me this up here has to be a 9. And now I can see that in this particular box there's only one thing left and it has to be a 6 or 7 because this is a 6 or 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm going to go ahead and write 6 or 7 in here because it will come in handy later. And let's see where we're at. I think I was going across the bottom when I quit, um, when I got off track there. So let's look again. Um, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. One of these two has to be a 3. I don't know which one it is, but I'll write them in. And I like to draw that little loop around there just to draw my eye to it. 4 is um, middle, top, bottom. No, nothing there. 5 is top, bottom, middle. That tells me that this one has to be a 5. Now 6 is middle. It's either top or bottom here and it's either top or bottom here. Six doesn't give me enough information. Seven is top or bottom. This can't be a seven. One of these two is a seven. Okay. Eight, 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 nine, nine. This tells me that one of these two on the bottom has to be a nine. So I'll draw in the little nines. All right. Now I didn't get enough information there. I might be stuck and I might need to guess and check again, but first I want to work across the top and work up and down the columns to see what I have left. Um, I can see there's three numbers here. Let's figure out what they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are two, six, or seven. And so when I look across two, six, or seven, um, well, here I can tell what this top one has to be. One, or it's 50 50 chance. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So each of these is a 2 or a 6. So I'm going to go ahead and write those in. Now let's check the bottom here. I'm going to erase these 4s because I've already found the 4. Let's work across here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 2, 6, or 7. This can be a 2, 6, or 7. And this can be a 2, 6, or 7. We have no, not enough information there. And then across the bottom, 1, 2, 3, not 4, not 5, 3, 6, 7, 3, 6, 7, or 9. 3, this column is 3, 6, 7, or 9. 3, 6, 7, or 9. So let's see what we have to work with. I know that this one isn't a 3. It's not a 9. If it's not a 3 or a 9, it must be a 6 or a 7. Now this actually comes in really handy because this is a 6 or 7 and this is a 6 or 7. That means these two can't be 6 or 7. If they're not 6 or 7, they must both be 3 or 9. So I've got 3, 9 here and I've got 3, 9 here. Now this opens up something here. This is a 3 or a 9 and this is a 3 or a 9. That means that 3 or 9 are taken up here so I know this one cannot be a 3 because the 3 has to be in one of those two spaces. If this cannot be a 3 then this must be a 3. And one of these two had to be a 7. Well, it can't be the top one so this must be a 7. One of these two has to be a 9. It can't be that one, so this is a 9. And now I know what has to go in here. There's only one thing left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I keep working through the puzzle like this. Aha, here's a 3. You go up. This cannot be a, this is a 3 or a 9. It's not a 3, so it must be a 9. One of these two has to be a 3, so here's the 3. And now we're down to, oh, here's a 3. That can't be a 3. It must be a 9. This must be a 3. Um, we're getting pretty close here. Let's see what we have to work with um, up here. These should be 2 or 6, but let me just confirm. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, those are both two or six. So I'm going to go ahead and write two or six in here. And um, if I were working on my own, I'd be a little neater. I try to go fast on the videos. All right, so I've got all but the two or six here. I'm missing six or sevens here and here and here. So let's go, I'll work across the top and see what I come up with. I've got bottom, top, middle for one. I've got two, the top two are both two. I've got three on bottom, middle, top. Four is middle, top, bottom. Five is middle, bottom, top. Six is top two, bottom two, any. That doesn't do me any good. Seven is bottom two, bottom two, okay. Eight, bottom, middle, top. Nine. All right, so now um, another technique I'm going to do is I'm going to work across and see what numbers I have. These are two or six. These are two, six, or seven. These are six or seven. They're done. When I get down here, I have six or seven. Aha, here we go. This will fix the whole thing. There's a seven. There's a six. This has to be six or seven. It can't be a seven. It must be a six. If this is a six, this has to be six or seven, so it must be a seven. This is a six. It tells me this must be a seven. If that is a seven, it tells me that this must be a six. One of these two has to be a seven, so it must be that one. One of these two has to be a two, so it must be that one. Two, six, well this must be a six, and this must be a two. And there I, I have just solved the entire puzzle. Now I was stuck. When you get completely stuck, don't panic. Um, couple things to do. One thing is just put the puzzle down and come back later and you might suddenly find the answer. But if you're really stuck and you don't know where to go, don't be afraid to use guess and check. You can um, make a photocopy or you can just write lightly in pencil and go back and relate and erase. When you guess and check, remember, there are three possibilities. You either solve the entire puzzle, you get lucky, you guessed right, and it works. That's awesome. Or you prove that your guess was wrong, and then you know if you had a 50-50 chance, you go back and fix it, and you know some more numbers. The, bad, the only bad thing is if you guess a number, and you work through, and you don't finish the puzzle, and you don't get stuck again, then you just want to erase all that and don't do that guess, because it's a bad guess. All right, so, well, I hope this was helpful. I will be, I've started making my own Sudoku puzzles, it's kind of fun. Oh, look what I missed here. Six or seven. That has to be a six. There we go. Um, I started making my own Sudoku puzzles, and I'll try to come up with some really challenging ones. I'm trying to make them some that are really hard, and um, anyway, if you like my videos, keep watching for more ones. I'll be posting more, and I hope this guess and check strategy is helpful to some people. Thank you for watching.